Here's my full review of the Huel Black Coffee Caramel Flavor. Oh, hi, Mac. What's up, Pachero fam? Welcome back to my channel. We'd like to experience everything that life has to offer. I posted a video a while ago where I ranked all the Huel Black flavors. Here is that ranking list. And since that video, I've gotten a lot of comments and questions about specific Huel Black flavors. So I figured why not do individual videos about each Huel Black flavor and figured might as well start off with probably, in my opinion, the most unique one, and that is the coffee caramel flavor for one unique addition in this real flavor compared to any of the other flavors. And that is that this has caffeine in it as opposed to the other Huel Black flavors that don't. As you can see, this is the bag. I completely killed it. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about everything you need to know in terms of the nutrition, the price, how does it taste, of course, and a lot more. First off, let's start with what is Huel Black. I'm gonna talk about this super briefly. I'm assuming you do know what it is, but in case you don't, essentially Huel in general is powdered food or a nutritionally complete meal. And Huel Black, as opposed to Huel White or the original Huel, there is more protein and less carbs. And I absolutely love Huel. I have it all the time. I have it when I'm traveling. I have it almost every day. It is super convenient and easy to take a couple scoops of Huel, put it in a blender cup with water, shake it up, drink it, Boom, that's an entire meal right there. So looking at the nutrition facts right now, going into the nitty gritty, this 400 calories per serving, 17 servings per bag, and one serving is two scoops. Now what I love about Huel Black is the amount of protein. There is roughly about 40 grams of protein per serving with Huel Black. That is a lot. That's a good amount of protein. So let's say if you're looking to get your protein in for the day, you're looking to bulk up, whatever the case is, you cannot go wrong with Huel Black. One quick side note though, which is kind of interesting, is the coffee caramel flavor has 39 grams of protein, while most of them have 40, and the unsweetened and unflavored version has 41 grams of protein. So I will say there is a slight, and I just the word slight difference between the flavors in terms of how much protein they have, but I mean, they're basically all about 40 grams of protein. In addition, there's only five grams of sugar per serving. You're getting 24 grams of carbs per serving. And lastly, about 410 milligrams of sodium per serving. I'm not gonna lie, the sodium content is a bit high. Let's say if you wanna have a couple of Huel shakes a day. Like I know some people who want to replace their meals with Huel. And I suggest, I don't think it's the best idea to fully permanently live on Huel. Years ago, I actually did. I did an entire month where I lived on only Huel. I retried that experiment recently and unfortunately it did not go so well, primarily because I've been focusing a lot more on bulking up. And I think Huel Black is amazing for bulking up, but not if you're only having Huel Black. For most people, they usually replace a meal. They're like, okay, I'm gonna replace breakfast with Huel or lunch with Huel. And with Huel Black, the fact that you're getting a 400 calorie serving with that amount of protein and carbs and all the macro and macronutrients, there's a lot to Huel, like I said in this video, just kind of scraping the surface when it comes to Huel nutrition or Huel Black nutrition. It's pretty awesome that with Huel Black, you're getting a super healthy, high quality meal that takes two seconds to make. Now let's talk about the price. This is the price breakdown for the flavors. You may notice, and I didn't even know this was a thing until I actually went to film this video, that there's a different price in terms of the flavors. I wonder if this is a new thing with Huel, because when I looked at it, I'm like, wait, how come some of the flavors cost more than others when you're essentially getting the same thing? Now, when it comes to the coffee caramel flavor specifically, I don't like it when companies do this because at first they're like, oh, it's only 80 something bucks for a couple bags and you need to get minimum two bags in order to order. But then when you start going to actually check out, you realize, oh, this is the price for the subscribe and save option where they auto send you it. If you just order it one time, it's $106, at least the exact time of this video, for two bags. And because each bag contains 17 servings, you're looking at spending $106 for 34 servings, which comes out to be roughly about $3.12 per serving. I love that. If let's say I'm in the airport, for example, and recently I was just traveling and I was actually in the Dallas airport, they were selling tuna sandwiches, like a gas station style tuna sandwich for 12 bucks. And that's what's so convenient about Huel is one, three bucks, way cheaper than a tuna sandwich, of course, and two, 
way healthier for you. And three, it lets you have a very busy day, you have a lot going on, it's a lot quicker and easier to make. And one amazing thing about the coffee caramel flavor specifically is that added caffeine is in there at no extra cost. I mean, if anything, like I showed you, it's actually cheaper than other flavors and the other flavors don't have caffeine while the coffee caramel flavor does have caffeine. Now, one thing I wanna say as a quick side note is does fuel save you money? This could be a very dedicated video in itself. So I'm gonna scrape the surface here, but basically in some cases, yes, in some cases, no. Now, like I said with that example, when I'm traveling in the airport, of course, yes. If like say you work a nine to five job, but I know a lot of people who do during lunchtime, go out, they buy food, they come back. Of course, bringing fuel, gonna be a lot cheaper. So in the case of almost substitution, it's usually a lot cheaper and a lot healthier. If let's say you're on a road trip and I travel all the time, you see that glowing M in the distance, well, this is gonna be a lot cheaper for you having Huel and a lot better than getting McDonald's. However, if you do the math out, unless you go out, you buy all the ingredients yourself, you cook your own food and everything, I think it's actually more expensive for Huel Black if you calculate the CPM or the cost per meal compared to like if you made a meal on your own, it would probably be a lot cheaper. However, then you have to look at the aspect of time. It is super convenient and quick and the average person spends two hours a day on food logistics. So for me, when I go through periods of having like say mostly Huel or mostly Huel Black, even though yes, I could probably save more money cooking and making my own food, I have way more time throughout the day to do other stuff in general that in an odd kind of way might make me more money. So in a sense, I might be saving money by having Huel because I have more time. But anyway, whole other subject for a whole other video. With all that being said, in terms of the basics of Huel Black, in a sense, a little crash course about Huel Black, let's talk specifically about the flavor review. How does it taste, the pros, the cons, and everything? If I had to give you a short answer, the best way I can describe it is it tastes like a low-key, sugar-free, subtle, coffee-ish taste. It tastes like a very subtle coffee taste with a light hint of caramel. And for me, I gotta be honest, this is one of my favorite flavors of Huel Black. My ranking has actually changed since that last video. I'd say now it's probably chocolate actually at number one, then coffee caramel, and then banana. It's kind of switched up. I really like this flavor, being honest. I think the reason why is some flavors are very in your face intense almost. Other ones are more subtle, like the banana one, is very intense in your face. And I used to love it. I used to rave about the banana flavor and I still do love it, but it is a lot more, for lack of a better word, aggressive than the coffee caramel flavor, which like I said, this tastes more like a sugar-free coffee option with a light hint of caramel. It's kind of interesting because I feel like if someone handed me this and said, hey, try this new Huel flavor that's a coffee flavor, I probably wouldn't think, oh, this tastes like there's some caramel in it it kind of just tastes like a sugar-free coffee type flavor. Because if you're having it a lot, and this is something I realized with the Huel Black flavor of banana, after a while, you almost get a bit more bored of it. Where I feel like the chocolate flavor or the coffee caramel flavor is a bit more low-key. I remember learning with Soylent, for example, which is arguably the first like meal replacement supplement that got really popular, kind of the OG one, that I remember they studied a lot about taste and the psychology of taste, because if you have something that tastes bad, of course, no one wants to have it. But if you have something that tastes really good, although at first it may be great, after a while, people will get really bored of it if they're having it a lot, almost this like porridge zone, so to speak, of having a good tasting flavor that's not too, too good. And I feel like the coffee caramel flavor definitely falls in that. It tastes really, really good, like I said, a low key coffee flavor with a hint of caramel. Now let's talk about the caffeine content. That's what sets the coffee caramel flavor apart from all the other ones. And that is that it has 65 milligrams of caffeine per serving. So for every two scoops or one serving, you're getting 65 milligrams of caffeine. And remember, which is kind of awesome about this, is that it's at no extra cost to you, which I'm not gonna lie, is pretty awesome. So let's say you do wanna replace, like say your breakfast with Huel or your lunch with Huel, not only like say in the morning, do you not have to make a meal, but let's say if you also have coffee in the morning, you don't really have to make anything. You put two scoops of this in a blender bottle, shake it up, drink it. You just got your food for the morning and your caffeine for the morning as well. Or let's like say you're working a nine to five job. You bring this to your nine to five job. Let's like say you have it around one or 2 p.m. Midday afternoon slump and you wanna get more coffee. Well, as opposed to that, you just have a heel shake and you're good to go. And in case you didn't know, you may be wondering like, okay, that makes sense. But how much caffeine is in a typical cup of coffee? It does depend, but you're looking at about 70 milligrams to 90 milligrams 
per a cup of coffee. So this is more equal, I'd say, to the amount of coffee in a shot of espresso. It's not like you're having like a gigantic big cup of coffee, you're more having a shot of espresso or your typical cup of coffee. So it does depend upon the person. For me, that's excellent. I know other people could have four or five cups of coffee and not feel anything. So it does depend upon your caffeine tolerance because you could easily have this and be like, okay, I'm all set. This is the caffeine I need for the morning or for that mid afternoon slump or whatever. Or you could have it and be like, hey, you know what? I kind of need a little more caffeine. The, the food part's great, but I need a little more caffeine. I need another cup of coffee. Either way, you're spending less time and money and effort because you can have this and get your caffeine in that you need. One last thing I want to mention when it comes to the caffeine content is the feeling. I think we've all been there where like you have a really strong cup of coffee and you get the jitters. Other times you have a similar cup of coffee and just because of maybe the product or just whatever, for some reason it doesn't hit you as hard. For example, Herba Mate, one of my favorite drinks ever. I find that that amount of caffeine, even though it can be a lot less than like a big cup of coffee hits me way harder. So it does depend situation to situation. I find with this in terms of the caffeine high or caffeine buzz, so to speak, that it gives me that perfect caffeine buzz without all the jitters. And that's great because there's been some times I've had a product with a very similar amount of caffeine that for some reason makes me feel anxious or twitchy or, you know, a little shaky or whatever. And it just hits me aggressively hard. With this, I don't get that. So I do like the fact that in terms of the, the overall feeling when I have this, it just feels like a very clean caffeine, if that makes sense. Next, let's talk about weight loss. This has been a big topic when it comes to talking about Huel and meal replacement supplements in general. I've done an entire dedicated video about this. I have a link listed below in the description to all my Huel videos. And I wanna talk about this specifically, not just because it's Huel Black with less carbs and more protein, but also because it contains caffeine. This has been brought up a lot. The caffeine speeds up your metabolism and essentially can help you lose weight. I wanna stress, I'm not a doctor and I never pretend to be one in any of my videos. I definitely have to say that, right? So let's say if you are looking to have your black, and not just your black, but the coffee caramel flavor to get that extra caffeine to hopefully speed up your metabolism and help you lose weight, I always suggest consult with a licensed professional before pursuing any type of weight loss program. That being said, I feel like if, let's like, say, you're looking to have Huel, to, let's like, say, replace meals, save money, eat healthier, and essentially lose weight, way the coffee caramel flavor can help assist with that more by having the caffeine one in terms of your metabolism and everything and two caffeine has been shown depending upon the person to curb your appetite if let's say you're trying to eat less just in general i find for me like say if i'm doing intermittent fasting or like say i'm just super hungry having a cup of coffee and i typically have black coffee having a cup of coffee can really kind of curb your appetite if let's say you're trying to eat less which makes the hue black coffee caramel flavor Excellent. Now let's talk about the negative parts. What's bad about this? I don't believe any product is ever perfect and I'm very transparent in my videos about the pros and the cons. First off, with the nutrition, I don't like that there's 410 milligrams of sodium in each serving. I already talked about that. I think that's a bit high. You know, it just, I, I wish that was a bit lower. That's the first thing. The second one, which is the biggest con for me, which ironically is both a pro and a con at the same time, is that this contains caffeine. If you look at a lot of the studies and research done with sleep and caffeine, especially put forward by people like Dr. Matthew Walker, they have demonstrated that you should not have caffeine 10 to 12 hours before going to bed. Meaning that like if you go to bed at midnight, you should probably have your last cup of coffee around noon, which for a lot of people sounds insane. They're like, wait a minute, I go to bed and I'm fine. I have a shot of espresso with dinner at 7 p.m. and they go to bed at midnight, no issue. Even if it doesn't feel like it, the studies don't lie. They have demonstrated that even like you can have a cup of coffee and fall asleep right away, it is still affecting your sleep. So for me, I find with the coffee caramel flavor, it's one of those flavors unfortunately, I kind of have to be careful with. This is gonna sound kind of weird, so just hear me out. But typically, I feel like most people, I have a Huel bag. When I'm done with that Huel bag, I throw it away, and I open up the next one. I know, bit Captain Obvious right there, right? However, this flavor or this bag is a bit different. I will typically have two Huel bags open at the same time. Of uh, the coffee caramel flavor, if like say, 
It's before 2 p.m. That's usually my cutoff because I usually go to bed around midnight to 2 a.m. So I typically don't have caffeine after 2 p.m. So I have this bag open, like say if it's before 2 p.m. and I want to get a little more caffeine in. However, if it's after 2 p.m., I'll make sure to put it aside and then snag the chocolate flavor or the banana flavor. Those are pretty much the only flavors I really buy is coffee caramel, chocolate and bandana. And that's what's tricky about this flavor being honest. I do love that there's caffeine in it, but other times it's a bit tricky because you can't really separate the two. And I remember, for example, there was one time I was traveling, I only had the coffee caramel flavor on me. It was like 6 p.m. And I'm like, oh, I, uh, I usually don't have caffeine this late. Like I'm not super sensitive to caffeine, but I am a little bit, I will say that. And I was like, all right, you know what? Whatever, I'm, I'm, I'm super hungry. I'm gonna have some. And I remember it kept me up till like two, three, four in the morning, could not fall asleep. And so I will say for me, sometimes I'd rather almost have the caffeine and the flavor separate. That way, if like say it is 6 p.m. and I wanna have fuel, well, okay, I got the chocolate flavor or the banana flavor, they don't have caffeine. But like say, like I said earlier, if it's like say before 2 p.m., they don't have this flavor. So I find, I almost look at the flavors of fuel, almost like all the other flavors and then the coffee caramel flavor, just because they're so unique, mainly because the coffee caramel flavor has caffeine.